brace yourself for this one because this is absolutely ginormous. Again, I do want to say that this is all just a rumor as of now, but my goodness, over the last around 24 hours, I've been doing a lot of digging and I have found some very, very interesting things in regards to this quote unquote rumor. Now, with that in mind, what am I talking about? First, let's set the table a little bit. So a few days ago, I saw a certain developer, someone who used to work for TT Games in a very prominent job and worked on many, many different titles, went ahead and tweeted out something that definitely struck me as like interesting because this person had said basically that I see TT Games continues to have more leaks than a sieve. And that kind of made me think like, what is this person talking about? I haven't seen anything sort of leak in the last whatever it was, 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. I didn't really see anything. But then I started digging and I found an article all the way back from 2022 on FanBite. And this article was titled More TT Games Employees Speak Out After Skywalker Saga Report. And the article was talking about the crunch and the work ethic and the or work environment, I should say, that was going on at TT Games during that time when there was the article that was published on uh, Polygon, I believe it was. And so it was kind of really tackling that. However, the interesting stuff that happened is not really in the article itself. It's more in the comment section of said article article. And the reason why that was particularly interesting was the fact that we saw some interesting revelations within that particular comment section. First and foremost, what is fascinating, and again, this is obviously a massive, massive, massive grain of salt here, but it's interesting that one of the people that commented in the comment section down below said that they were actually working on a Lego Disney video game, which is what has been rumored to be happening with TT Games Next. That has been the rumor is that to celebrate the 100 year anniversary, they have a Lego Disney game in mind. This person went on to go on ahead and actually say, sorry, no Marvel or Star Wars. I know because I'm stuck working on this particular game with most of the company, but they also did go on ahead and say that the project has been an absolute nightmare. And internally, they even specified their code name of the project, which was called Marley. But things get even crazier here. And the reason why is because just for some random reason on April 19th and April 13th, there are these random updates that have suddenly happened to this comment section. Why would it just randomly go on ahead and appear here all this time after? And this lines up with the previously mentioned developer tweeting out about leaks. So when you put two and two together, it really starts to give this a little bit more credibility. And here's the update. Update on this, Lego Disney is currently in the trash. It was canceled last year, mainly because it was a bleep show but partially because Dreamlight Valley did a lot of the things it was trying to do better. It's now Mandalorian DLC for Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and another Lego Batman game because I'm sure there's someone out there that isn't utterly sick of Batman by now. That's four quietly canceled internal projects by TT now in the last three years. Holy moly. If this is true, that means that the Lego Disney project that was supposed to release was kiboshed and has been canceled and they have moved on to working on other projects, including a possible DLC for Mandalorian wow. for Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. Now I know what you're saying. Blitz, are you insane? They already have DLC for Mandalorian. In fact, two of them for Skywalker saga. I'm assuming what the reference here is actual DLC with like levels and stuff instead of just character packs, which I think would be absolutely awesome. If that could drop this year, I think people would be stoked along with a customizer. I mean, fingers crossed, I would be absolutely stoked to see that happen. Will it? We'll see. But I would be very, very excited to go on ahead and see something like that. And then, interestingly enough, the reference to Lego Batman. Now, that got me going and thinking like, okay, well, why would they work on another Lego Batman game? What's going on? But the interesting thing is that if you go to Glassdoor, which is a place where people can go on ahead and review their employers and other companies, basically it's a place that employees use to figure out whether or not they want to be employed by a certain company. And the interesting stuff that you see on Glassdoor is a whole bunch of references to the idea that it seems like the focus going forward will be WB specific IP. 
How do I know this? Well, because there's multiple reviews that go on ahead and say exactly that. So if you look at this particular one right here, it says got to work on some amazing IPs over the years, although now, now, so this is recently, now more limited to WB only IPs. If we go on ahead and look at this other one right here, it wow. does go on ahead and once again says chance to work with big IPs in brackets as long as you like Warner Brothers IPs. And again, if we bring up Warner Brothers IP catalog, obviously there's a lot there beyond just DC and Batman. But as far as like the things that we're already familiar with, that really does make sense. Could they do something with Looney Tunes? Sure. Middle Earth? Sure. Scooby-Doo? Sure. Game of Thrones? You know, the list goes on and on. There really is a lot that they own, but I think that it is the most safe bet to get another Lego Batman game. And this also kind of sort of lines up with the idea that we have seen with the other elements of Warner Brothers. We've seen that they've been cutting costs across the board. So to me, it almost seems like they would go on ahead and try to stick to the IP that they own in order to build that up instead of pivoting away and promoting other IP that is external to that company with things like Disney or Marvel or the list goes on and on and on. So what do you guys think? What do you think about this news? What do you think about this rumor? I, again, I would have ignored it completely if this was just a random comment because I just feel like it would not have had any sort of credibility. However, the fact that it was addressed publicly by someone who used to work at TT Games making a reference to say that there was a leak and I put two and two together and found the actual article that was being referred to and the comment that was being referred to is very, very interesting. It also does go on ahead and potentially confirm that there was an idea for a Lego Disney game. They were developing a Lego Disney game and it has possibly been canceled as a result of a having a lot of problems on the project, which is something that we knew even all the way back in 2022, because that was actually referenced in that article on fan saying that the people that are currently working on the new game are absolutely bewildered by some of the decision making. So we know that it was already a problem back then. And if that continued to go on ahead and escalate, it would make sense that the project might have been kiboshed or put down altogether especially when you also add the very, very valid point of the idea that we just got Disney Dreamlight Valley, which would make sense to be kind of their big game release that would be possibly a competitor to something like a Lego Disney video game. So let me know what you guys think about all this news. I think this is absolutely crazy. If this is true, of course, I also am still very, very excited because I think that a possible Lego Batman game that is made with the sort of attention to detail that we saw with Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga would be freaking incredible. I would love to see something that is in the style of like a hub world from Lego Batman 2 but maybe a little bit bigger, make the buildings accessible so you can actually enter things like Gotham Gazette or the GCPD or Arkham Asylum or the Wayne Manor, and you get to do things within those buildings. But then at the same time, maybe add a secondary city of Metropolis. I think that would be really cool. And mix in the character roster from Lego Batman 3. Sign me up. I would be stoked to see another entry in the Lego Batman franchise. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section below. Which one would you prefer to see? Lego Disney, Lego Batman 4. Let me know. And in addition to that, I do also want to once again mention there is also that rumor of the idea that there is actual Lego Star Wars Mandalorian DLC coming to Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this news update. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. See you later. Alligators.